I'm Patilo Kole from Rhodes University in the Chemistry Department. Today we are going to share about an interesting topic. My project is focusing on how we can use plant-based nanoparticles to improve the efficacy uh, of anti-malaria. Every single minute, malaria causes a death somewhere in the world, in Congo, in Nigeria, in somewhere in the world. But surprisingly, we have actually a lot of anti-malaria in the market. But those anti-malaria has have some problems. Side effects, number one, and resistance in another side. So in the, the side of side effects, a work that we have just published, we have shown that it's possible to encapsulate anti-malaria in nanoparticles like liposomes, like saponid, like mycins, to improve the efficacy of drugs. So in my in the first step of my work, I am working on plant-based nanoparticles to improve the efficacy of drugs. And I'm working on saponin that can self-assemble in my sense and give good biocompatibility and efficacy of uh, uh, encapsulation. And Willie's study is, was very interesting. In another hand, we need to identify the plasmodium resistant strains. Can we do that? Yes, we can do that by designing a biosensors based on microfluidic device or microfluidic technology. But this is another story. So far, we have, we have extracts saponin from banana plants and we have shown that Ban uh, saponin are toxic, are hematotoxic. But when reduced in nanoparticles, they are biocompatible. That's really interesting that, and means that we can today work on those kind of materials. And then in the future work, we, we will see that. So we'll see if it's possible to co encapsulate in the same system atomizing, lumefantry, and maybe mefloquine or kinin, and then we will have a treat therapy system that is actually uh, the way we are going in the treatment of anti of malarial disease.